Hello, bearded bee people. Welcome back to Bee and KBs. Today, I'm hiving uh, mating nukes. I'm putting bees and queen cells into these little baby nuke boxes. Each of these boxes will hold two cells, and then when those cells emerge, I can say each of those boxes will hold two queens. They're just wooden versions of what I've been using over the past few years, which are these styrofoam boxes that don't quite last up to the uh, the elements and the years and the sunlight and all that. Um, obviously, some of them I didn't paint. I should have painted all of them because the ones that are painted are better, but still not as good as a painted wooden box. So we went ahead and had a bunch of these made this off season. So yeah, this uh, this isn't very much of a, a process where I can talk and, and show it because it's got to be quick and simple and and uh, you know with uh, decided effort in the sense that I can't be chatting and and having bees fly around or otherwise I lose the bees that I'm intending on locking up into these nukes. <clears throat> I'll keep them locked up until those cells emerge, which will be the end of tomorrow, which will be Saturday night. I'll come out here and pull all those yellow plugs. So I'm going to set that camera off to the side and do a little mop. Okay, so hopefully you saw some or the majority of that. I don't know when the phone cut off. Um, but the idea is just dumping queenless bees into these uh, and giving them queen cells. They've got little baby nuke frames in there, three on each side and a cell on each side. So the idea being that I'll have to be able to pull two queens from each box. We've been, like I said, <clears throat> running these uh, double styrofoam ones for a few years, and they're great the first year, less than great the second year, and almost unusable after that. Uh, the issue being that they swell and bend and crack and kind of crumble, and it just doesn't really stand up to being out in uh, the elements underneath the sun for you know, many months at a time. So, we are on to the little wooden baby nukes. We got these from our friends over at Cross Apiary. Uh, you can go to their website. I'll link it in the description, crossapiary.com. <clears throat> His name is Josh, and he makes fantastic equipment. And if you have any weird requests, like I did, um, he'll be able to pull them off for you with precision professional precision these are fantastic much nicer than I could have ever done so yeah crossapiary.com so tomorrow I have uh, cells to place in the incubator I have to feed it feels like a million colonies just keep chugging away at this bee work and hope for a uh, reprieve when everything is good enough with food to the point where I don't have to get out there, you know, every other day what it feels like. And then we'll be able to be on more of a systematic, regular schedule throughout the remainder of the beer. This early portion, getting everything set up and established is kind of crazy and it's a lot of work. So, um, as always, I want to say, you know, if you guys ever have any questions or requests for videos or anything that you'd like for me to cover, 
leave a comment uh, in the comment section below, and I'll be free, or I will uh, be sure to uh, get back to you about that. And um, if it's something that's been requested in the past, or something that I see as uh, a good video, then I'll, I'll definitely make a video on it. Obviously, I can't make a video on every request. Um, but I can definitely, definitely pay some attention to the very common questions. That's what I try to do. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the heck out of that. And I appreciate the heck out of every one of you subscribers. And, you know, if you guys like this channel, click subscribe. There'll be tons more videos throughout the rest of the year. So, thank you. Get out there and have some fun with your bees. See ya.